Hi and welcome. In this video, you're going to be learning how to do the three different types of anchor points. These being a corner point, a smooth point and a cusp point. And these three points underpin everything that we do in the pen tool. Well, let's dig straight on into this. My name's Ken Fisher and this is Live Link Training. Okay, let's start by finding the pen tool. Well, it's down here in the toolbox and here it is. And if I hover over it, you'll see we've got a keyboard shortcut of P. P for pen tool. It's nice when they make sense, isn't it? Now, there are some other tools in this group. We've got the freeform pen tool, the curvature pen tool, the add and delete anchor point tools and the convert point tools. And we've also got two more tools just a bit further down here which are the direct selection tool and the path selection tool, each with a keyboard shortcut of A. Now, if we go back to the pen tool, the freeform pen tool and the curvature pen tool we'll be looking at in later videos. But let's just have a look at what the rest will do. So, okay, let's click on the pen tool to start us off. And if we have a quick look up here at the tool options at the top, we can see that there's several parts that we can we can look at in here, but the only one that we're really interested in for this video is this first one. And this is the type of pick that we're going to have. And we can pick a shape, we can pick a path, or we can pick pixels. Well, in this case, we want it to be a path. So as long as that's set, we're good to go. Now you'll see that the pen tool cursors has a little asterisk next to it. Now this means I've not added any points yet. So, well, let's sort that out. So let's just go anywhere, somewhere here, and we'll click to add a point. Now in the Paths panel, over here, you'll see that a Work Path layer appears. Now if your Paths panel's not visible, then go to the Window menu, and make sure that Paths has a tick in it. And that will make the, the Paths panel visible so we can see it. Now if I click to make another point, say up here, now, if I click to form another point, now the, in the Paths panel, you'll see that we are developing a path. You can see this little black line here. And this is the path that we've, we're showing here in the main document window. Now, paths are vector in nature, so they don't contain pixels. So if I deselect the work path by clicking underneath it, you'll see that everything disappears. Now, to bring back the path, I can click on the work path layer and that will bring back the path. But this time it's not selected. Now to select it again, I can use the path selection tool. Now if I go down here, we can see we've got the path selection tool and the direct selection tool. I'll try the path selection tool and I'll click on it. And you'll see that the two endpoints, they come into play again, they, they appear. And if I go with the path selection tool and I click and drag, I can move the whole path where I like and reposition it. And I'll just reposition it somewhere there. Now, if I want to move either endpoints, then I can select the direct selection tool. And I can go down here and select the direct selection tool. Now, if I click off the path and then click back on it again, you'll see I've got two points now, but they've got nothing in them, these little squares. And if I hover over them, you'll see that one of them becomes the active point and one of them is not active. Now, if I click and drag on this point, I can move that round and obviously the segment goes with it. And if I hover over this point and click on it, I can move that point round as well. I'll just put that back there for the minute. Now back to the pen tool. If I go back to the pen tool now, and I want to continue this path, at the moment, my pen tool has a little asterisk next to it. And this means that it's, it's waiting to draw a brand new path. Well, I want it to continue with this path. So first, I've got to hover over the point I want to continue from. And you'll see I'll get a little funny symbol there with a square with a line going through it, which means continue. And if I click on that and then move away and click, I'll now create another anchor point. You can see why this is called a 
square. This is well. Some people call them square points. Some people corner points. I prefer corner points. Now we can make a few more. We can click here and click there and click another one. And then if we hover back over that start point, you'll see that like a zero appears next to the pen tool. And this means I'm back right over the start. And if I click, I'll now complete that selection. And you'll see the work path is now complete. And this is now called a closed path. Now, if you want to save this path, this is a good time to save it. So I'll just double click in there and I'll give it a name, say Ken Path. And click OK. Now, the tool you'll use most is the direct selection tool, which is this white arrow. Now, there's a great keyboard shortcut for accessing the tool on the fly while having the pen tool selected. And this makes it a lot easier to use because it saves you having to go down and keep reselecting the tool every time you want it. And this is to hold the control key down. Now, this gives you temporary access to the direct selection tool. So if we just look at this for a minute and then I hold the control key down, you'll see I've now got the little white arrow, which is the direct selection tool. And now if I keep my finger on that control key or command key, if you're on a Mac and click and drag, I can drag the whole lot. But if I decide I wanted to to move away from that, then I could click away. And then when I click back on it again, I get a load of empty points. And then I can hover over one of the points. And if I click and drag on it, I can move each of these points now individually. Or if I hover over one of the segments, I can move the segment and obviously the two sides that are at the edge of it. So I can move any of these segments like that. Just like that. Now, OK, what if we want to delete a point? Well, if I hover over the point I want to delete, you'll see that I get a little minus sign next to my pen. And this means I'm going to delete that point. So if I hover right over it and then click, that's that point deleted. Now, to add a point, I can just hover over any segment and you'll get a little plus sign. And then when I click, you'll see that I get another anchor point created. But this point, it's different to the other anchor points because this has got two little circles associated with it. And these are called control points. Now, if I get my direct selection tool again and I click on this point and drag it out, you'll see that it's now got a bend to it. And I can change the actual angle of this bend by moving these control points or moving the point itself. Now this, like I've said, is a smooth point. Now I can convert between a smooth point and a corner point with the convert point tool. And I can do that if I go down to the bottom of the pen tool menu and there's the convert point tool. And when I hover over a point, you get that little, like a, a little angle piece. And when I click, it turns it back into a square point or a corner point. Now I can also convert a corner point into a smooth point. And I can do that by clicking on it and dragging. And that converts the square point to a smooth point, in which case I can move these handles to create a nice smooth curve. Now, because the convert point tool is so important, there's a keyboard shortcut to access it again on the fly. And this is the Alt key. So if I now, while I'm in the pen tool, so I'll go back to my pen tool and then I hold the Alt key down. When I hover over a point, you'll get the convert to point tool. And if I click on that point, that turns it to an angle. And then if I want to change that again, I can hold the control key down and click and drag it to move it. And if I want to convert it again, I can click and that'll convert it to a smooth point. Well, that's it for the corner point. Now let's look in more detail at the smooth point and the cusp points. And we're going to do that in the very next video. Now, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please visit me on Facebook and like my page. Give me a thumbs up on YouTube. Leave me a comment under the video.
And please click that subscribe button and help me grow my Photoshop learning community. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.